Hello and welcome to Nan Loves Food. I am Ann here today with a pantry organization for you. Uh, I am super excited to get this pantry organized a little bit more than it is. It's one of those things that it's it's in okay shape, it's in decent shape, but it could always be better. And so I'm thrilled that I was able to get some stuff from Ikea and from Amazon to get this organization party underway because I think just a little bit of structure to my plain boring wire shelves will really help keep things a little bit more organized and compact and in order because don't we all want a little bit more of that in our pantries? <laughs> so uh, I'm going to take you along today. We did um, in the last video go ahead and set up this, which is actually a microwave stand that we got off of Amazon. And that is going to go down here on this bottom rack of the pantry. But first, before we really get started, we've got to take all of the stickers off of these things, which is going to take a significant amount of time. So let's get this done. I'm thinking back on all those times When I feel close to from All that I could become Eager but to scare to climb Wanted to please my friends But it felt like the end of myself I was shut down. Okay, that's done. Whew. That was not... That was not an insignificant task. <laughs> this is only part of them. So now uh, I'm going to go put my hair up because this is about as long as I last in real life with my hair down because it's already like bothering me. I had somebody say to me the other day, your hair is so pretty, why don't you wear it down more often? It's like, because I'm in my kitchen all the time and hair doesn't belong down in the kitchen. That's how you end up with hair in your food. So I'm gonna go put this mess up um, and I'm going to hand wash every single one of these because I'm not putting food in containers that have not been washed. So we're going to do that. And then uh, I will join you right back here in a second and we will get started on this pantry. Yeah. 
I'm thinking back on all those times When I feel close to from All that I could become Eager but too scared to climb Wanted to please my friends But it felt like the end of myself Okay, so we are at a stopping point for today. Uh, I've made some good progress. It's not like done done, but I wanna show you where we landed. So here's all the baking stuff, neatly stacked in containers. We have the plastic wrap and aluminum foil and things like that all organized. And then that's pretty much the same. The rest of these rows are pretty much the same. Um, they could use a little bit more organization, but they're good for now. You know, I think one of the problems with TV shows specifically and YouTube videos where they spend thousands of dollars renovating their pantry is like, that's just not how real life happens, right? For most of us, this stuff happens gradually. So this is the part that I'm most excited about. So we got these little bins from Ikea. We're not using the lids, they're just underneath, but this way we can see what's available, keep things organized. Everything is within reach and easy to grab. And that is just going to make grabbing a snack infinitely easier. We've got the bonza pasta down there, our chips here. This one is dog food. This is regular rice. And this is just basmati rice, which is not the same as regular rice, so I don't want it to go in the same container. Um, Probably won't buy five pounds of that next time we get it, so it's not quite so much to store. Potatoes and onions still hanging out. Got the napkins and the steel cut oats just like they were before. So this, we just have too much inventory. There's just too much crap. And <laughs> you know, once we don't have four different containers of honey, um, which is partially due to a move and partially just due to irresponsible buying on my part. But once we don't have four containers of honey sitting there, you know, that'll be a lot more organized because there won't be so much junk. All right, so the other thing I wanted to show you is that we are gonna go ahead and put some of this stuff back up above the refrigerator, but this is all stuff that like we are definitively not using unless it's for baking. So corn syrup is not something I use in daily cooking. Lemon extract, I don't know, I might keep the vanilla because sometimes that's used in stuff. But the chocolate chips and the decorating bags and tips, all of that, um, there are a handful of things that just don't fit. So I did put some oats up there, but we make um, oatmeal scotchy cookies with these quick cut oats. Actually, Matthew does, I don't bake. Baking is against my religion. Um, we've got some dry milk and some butter flavor Crisco, which is a requirement for cookie baking. But other than that, uh, that is where we landed for today. I'm actually really pleased with the progress. There is still a giant mess down here that I still have to clean up and it's time to make dinner. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this kind of video and other things related to simple, easy, delicious weeknight meals, please give this a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, bye.